right, cool. We're here with Chase. Now, at the final Tribal Council, were you expecting that much animosity directed in your direction as well as Sash? Were you kind of surprised by that? No, I wasn't surprised. I mean, those guys were pretty furious and mad, whatever. Um, but I didn't care. I, I knew the votes that I had a chance of getting, and I wasn't trying to get in Vardy. I wasn't even going to try. That's what I told him when he asked me who's dumb. Well, I think you are. Uh, and I think it's kind of funny that he thinks I'm so dumb, but he was voted out about you know, however many, seven or eight people before me. So that makes him really dumb, I guess. Now, were you? do you think he was trying to get you to say you were dumb yourself? Because the way I took it was he was trying to get you to label Fabio in that in that. He was know, trying to get me to... He was probably get, trying to get me to say I was a little dumb. Uh, I think he was also, uh, that's a stupid move for me to do, to right. name anyone but him, because then I'm, I probably still don't get his vote, and then I make someone else mad. So, you know, I'd, whatever he was trying to do with that question, I gave it right back to him. Right. Okay, well, let's, let's go back to the beginning of the game. It was a battle of young versus old, and three young guys came to the top. Did that really play a factor in the entire season? Like, it seemed like it was going to at the beginning, or was that really not that big of a deal? Uh, well, we talked about it in the beginning, we want a young person to win. So, in the end, that was kind of probably Fabio's thought process was, hmm. let's get five, three young guys to the, the end, and uh, I think he's, he was pretty sure he was going to win anyway. So, um, uh, but I'm just glad he took me. He didn't have to take me. Hundred grand, I'll, hundred grand, I'll take it, though, you know. Now, were you surprised that the vote fell that way going in when when Holly was eliminated? Were you surprised that happened, or did you guys know going in that Holly was going to be the one going home? We talked about it, and we all said, you know, let's vote for, for uh, Holly. Um, but you never know; something could change. But yeah, I mean, when that happened, I wasn't surprised. Okay. Now let's let's talk a little bit about the kind of character you were portrayed as. They kind of had you as a wishy-washy player a little bit, and you you know were making decisions, kind of backstabbing, it seemed like. Was that an accurate portrayal, or were you just, it, it seemed like you were playing with your heart a lot. I was lot. playing with my heart. I was just going with what I thought was best, and made a lot of moves that are absolutely crazy, but I made it to the end, so I don't care. Call it crazy, I made it to the end. Um, so, yeah, I, I was playing with my heart, which maybe not be the best thing for Survivor, but I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not, a, I'm not good at the game of Survivor. And it's a game where you cheat, lie, and steal to get to the end and win. And if I'm bad at that, I'm fine with that. <laughs> now, you had a really tight bond with Jane. And then when you hear her say something like, he better not show his face in North Carolina again, how does that, what is that like as far as the reaction is concerned? Because it seems like you guys are cool. <laughs> yeah, we're cool now, but I mean, if she's going to, you know, she's probably pretty bitter when she said that. And if she still thinks that, then I'll come back to North Carolina and they'll greet me with open arms. You know, everyone there, you know, I still love everyone there and they still, they still love me. So um, I don't know who who you are to think that you can tell me I can't come back to where I'm from, but uh, I'll be there and I'll, I love Carolina. All right, now outside of Survivor, we got to see you play a little bit of music today at the <laughs> live finale. Cool. So what what is next for you? Uh, well, that's what I do. I, I write songs and I, I love singing and performing. And uh, then that's what we're doing right now. We did an EP, recorded last Thursday actually in the studio in Nashville and uh, recorded five songs. We're going to push Buzz back as a first single. That'll be out next week. The rest of the EP will come out on iTunes in probably a month. But um, yeah, we push, we're pushing Buzz back as a single to Nashville 11, XM Radio, and they're going to play that, put that in rotation, and keep doing music, keeping it out there. All right, and uh, how did you get it cast on the show? What, what exactly took place to get you sell, or yourself on that uh, season? I had someone contact me and said that they thought I'd be good for it, and went and did all the application stuff, and they liked me and put me on there. So all right, last, easy. last question. What, would, what advice would you offer to a future player of this game? Go on there and don't want it too much. Just go on there and be yourself and uh, try to do the best you can challenges, but just be yourself. And like for me, I wasn't myself, I was crazy. But if I had just chilled, hung back, and, and just been me, I think I'd have been a lot better off. All right, Chase, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it, nice to see you.